Welcome to the Blazor Data Grid tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to export SyncFusion Blazor Data Grid component with custom templates to a PDF document. First, let me open an existing Blazor web app. I've already added the SyncFusion Blazor Data Grid component with the data source property bound to the orders list. I've also configured the option to export the data grid to a PDF file via the toolbar. If you want to learn how to add a Blazor Data Grid component to a Blazor web app, check out the video linked in the YouTube card above. For more information on exporting the data grid to a PDF document, refer to the video link provided in the description below. Now, let me run the example application. As you can see, the Blazor Data Grid component has rendered the order's data source. Also, notice that the PDF Export button is visible in the toolbar items. When I click the PDF Export button, the PDF document is downloaded in the browser. Upon opening the PDF document, you can see that the data grid is successfully exported to the PDF document. Next, I will show you how to export Blazor data grid with custom templates to a PDF document. The grid provides features to export various templates to a PDF document, including column, caption, and detail template. Now I am going to explain each template. First, I will demonstrate how to export data grid with column template. The PDF export functionality allows you to export grid columns that include images, hyperlinks, and custom text to a PDF document. In this case, I will export grid columns with custom text in the customer name column. To achieve this within the grid column tag, I define a template tag. This tag allows custom content to be rendered in each cell of the column. Inside the template tag, I use razor syntax to embed C sharp code within the markup. I cast the context object to an order object and assign it to the variable PDF template. The context object represents the data for the current row. Then I define an HTML span tag to display inline content. Within the tag, I set the static text mister to be displayed before the customer ID. Next, to export the PDF with custom text in the customer name column, I add the PDF query cell info event. This event is used to customize cell content during the PDF export process. To handle this event, I create a public method named PDF query cell info handler, which takes a parameter of type PDF query cell info event arguments. Inside this method, I check if the field of the column currently being processed is customer ID. Then I set the cell value to Mr. followed by the customer ID of the current order object. Then I bind this method to the PDF query cell info event. Next, inside the toolbar click handler method, I set include template column property to true using export properties. This ensures that template columns are included in the PDF export. Now you can observe that the customer's name column is rendered with the provided custom text. Clicking the PDF export button and opening the PDF document, you will see that the data grid is successfully exported with custom text in the customer name column. Next, I am going to export the Blazor data grid with a caption template. You can customize the group captions when exporting the grid to a PDF document. In this case, I'll show how to format group captions to display specific information about each group. To implement this, I first set the allow grouping property to true. Using this property, you can group grid data by dragging column headers into the group drop area. Then I define the grid group settings tag, which is used to configure settings related to grouping data by one or more columns in the grid. Additionally, I set the columns property to order ID, indicating that the grid should initially render grouped data based on values in the order ID column. 
Within this tag, I define the caption template tag, which is used to customize the appearance and content of group captions when data is grouped by columns. Inside this tag, I use razor syntax to access the caption template context object, which provides information about the current group being rendered. Then I display the group key, record count, and header text within an element. The group key uniquely identifies each group within the data like a category or any other grouping factor. Next, to export the PDF with a customized caption template, I add the PDF group caption template info event. This event allows developers to format and customize the appearance of group captions, specifically for PDF exports. To handle this event, I create a public method named PDF Group Caption Info Handler. This method takes a parameter PDF Caption Template Arguments, which provides details about the caption being rendered. Inside this method, I customize the cell value to display the group key, record count, and header text in the desired format. Then I bind this method to the PDF Group Caption Template Info event. Now you can see that the order ID column is grouped and the formatted group captions are displayed. When I group the order date column, notice that the provided formatted group caption. Upon clicking the PDF export button and opening the PDF document, notice that the data grid is successfully exported with the provided formatted group captions. Next, I will demonstrate how to export Blazor data grid with detailed template. It allows users to expand specific rows to view detailed insights or related data within the grid. When exporting data, the detailed template ensures that these expanded views or nested grids are included, providing a comprehensive representation of the data set. This feature enhances data visualization and supports detailed analysis within applications. To achieve this, I made some modifications and removed certain code snippets. In this case, I will show product details in a detailed template. So, I updated the data source details. Also, I removed existing column and caption template details. To enable the detailed template, define the grid templates tag. Within this tag, define the detailed template tag. It allows developers to create custom layouts and content for displaying detailed information or nested data for each row, enhancing data presentation and user interaction within the grid. Inside this tag, I add razor syntax. Within the code block, I cast the context object to a product type and assign it to the product variable. In this case, I will display details of specific products, such as offers, descriptions, contact information, available, and more when expanded. So, I use an HTML table for this purpose. The table is constructed with specific classes and width settings to align and display detailed information about each product. Then, I add the column group element to group and define a set of columns within the table, specifying each column's width. Firstly, I add the table header using the tHead tag, which signifies the start of the table header section. Within the header, I use the tR tag to represent a row and th tag to define header cells. The header cell spans two columns and includes styles for UI alignment, such as font and background color, displaying product details as the header title. Next, I add the body section of the table using the tBody tag. Inside an tr tag, I use td tag to define table data cells, aligning their content to the center. Inside this cell, I display the product description from the product variable using razor syntax. Then, I create another table data cell for contact details, including an element with a CSS class of link. I added the text contact and an anchor tag that binds the email contact from the product variable's contact property. Similarly, I create another table with two cells. The first displays the product cost, and the second shows the status prefixed with available. 
I continue this pattern for three more rows, each displaying detailed information for the product variable. Each row contains two cells. The first cell typically contains centered text with various styles and values such as status, offers, and ratings. The second cell contains additional details such as return policy, cancellation policy, and delivery information. Finally, I apply styles to align the table, such as font size, font weight, and other visual enhancements. To export the PDF with a detailed template, I add the PDF detail template exporting event. This event allows customization of the content and layout of detailed templates when exporting the grid to a PDF. To handle this, I create a public method named PDF detail template handler. This method takes a parameter PDF detail template event arguments, which provides details about the product details being rendered. Before proceeding, I bind this method to the PDF detail template exporting event. Inside the method, I initialize the PDF rows variable and assign it to a list of PDF detail template row objects to hold the rows of the detail template. Then, I create the data variable and assign it to the parent row's data. Then I set the column count to 2 to define the two-column layout. Then, I add the header using row information, which includes a single header row with one cell spanning two columns. This header is styled with bold text, a blue font color, and a font size of 13, displaying product details. Next, I add five rows, each showcasing specific product information styled to enhance readability and presentation in the exported PDF document. The rows are as follows. The first row displays the product description in the first cell, and the contact is a hyperlink in the second cell. The second row displays the cost and available status in the first and second cells. The third row displays the status and return policy in the first and second cells. The fourth row displays the offers and cancellation policy in the first and second cells. And the fifth row displays the ratings and delivery information in the first and second cells. Lastly, the PDF rows list is assigned to rows, ensuring that the customized rows are included in the PDF export. Finally, inside the toolbar click handler method, remove the existing include template column property and add the PDF detail row mode property to expand. This ensures that detailed rows are expanded in the exported PDF. Now you can see the data grid rendered with the provided grid columns. When I expand a random category, notice the provided product details. Upon clicking the PDF export button and opening the document, notice that all the product details are expanded in the PDF document. If you prefer the details not to be expanded in the PDF document, change the PDF detail row mode to none. Now opening the PDF document, notice that all the products are not expanded in the PDF document. Now let me summarize. I showed you how to export SyncFusion Blazor Data Grid component with custom templates to the PDF document, and also showed you various templates like column template, caption template, and detail template. If you want to see the working code of this example, you can download it from that GitHub link in the description below. I've also provided a link to see if you qualify for a free community license to use all our Blazor components. If you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.